up guys, it's Hunter Hayes. We're hanging out backstage in Portland, Oregon, and I'm gonna answer some of your questions on the Skype live studio, along with all of your friends at 98.7 The Bull. Check it out, connecting with artists on Skype is so easy. All you gotta do is add Skype live studio to your contact list and just send us a question. Through your music, I know it's like your song Invisible, you had a great message to that song, I loved it. But Thank you. as an artist and like as a person, what do you, hope to inspire through your music or what do you hope to kind of get across through your music i don't really know i'm kind of like racking my brain because there's so many different things i mean like i think it's song by song i think a song like invisible um i wanted to share my story uh, uh, and kind of give a perspective because i would have given anything to hear my current perspective like <laughs> you know 10 years ago when i was you know 15 yeah. and, and, and in high school um <laughs> and I just feel like I don't know. There's like a bunch of positive ways to like approach things, and and um, and sort of very like uplifting kind of ways of looking at things. And I like, I like I like saying something like that with Invisible, um, and even in like love songs or like breakup songs or whatever. Like I like, I kind of prefer like thinking positive about all of it. That's why like on the last record, there's a song called Nothing Like Starting Over. Um, it's kind of mm -hmm. a positive like looking at a breakup, going all right. No, this is a chance to kind of start fresh and like you know figure it out from here. Um, but yeah, I don't know, just, I guess that, I don't know, I wish I had a better answer for you. I guess I should work on this. <laughs> no, that's a very good answer. Probably one that, um, <laughs> actually, best I've heard. So, here's the deal. We actually, uh, we were talking about the fact that your birthday was coming up. I didn't know which exact day it was, but is it okay? Can I, can I send you something? Yeah, absolutely. Check this out. We got a, we got a, we got a guitar, um, and I'm gonna, I'm, Gonna do. I'm gonna balance the headphones and the microphone. Hang. On. I'm gonna put this down. All right. Okay. I'm gonna sign it. Can I put your name on it though? Is that okay? Or do you want me to put yeah, something else? Absolutely. Like for love of music. Awesome. Sweet. Hey, uh, Meredith is Hunter. Wanted to send you this. Um, to say thanks so much for the time. I really appreciate it. It was great, like hanging out with you for a couple minutes and chatting. Um, happy birthday. I hope it's awesome. Um, and we just all wanted to send you all the love and, and all the all the well wishes for uh, for Christmas and all the holidays. So all the love and uh, God bless. We'll see you soon. I just love your new album. So excited I get to ask you a question. So my question is, how do you define happiness? Excited to see you next time you're in town. Thanks. Hey, Jaden, it's Hunter. Um, thanks so much for your question. It's absolutely brilliant. You really should consider uh, a career in journalism. I don't know. There's so many different ways to define happiness, and I think um, the most important thing is to just kind of pay attention to it when you do feel it, because I think we can all kind of make up happiness. Like, we can think we're happy, but we're really not. I think it's important to kind of pay attention to your heart, right? So um, I guess that's how I define happiness, and what an incredible question. So... Uh, props. You're awesome. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Hi, Hunter. My name is Miranda, and my question for you is, if you were stuck in a Groundhog Day situation and had to relive one day of your life over and over again, which day would you choose and why? Hey, Miranda. It's Hunter. Um, okay, so brilliant question. I'm going to assume you start each day with a brand new set of energy and say that I would do the day that we broke the Guinness World Record um, again. Over and over. <laughs> Even though the day itself um, kind of felt like Groundhog's Day, we did 10 shows in a day, but um, but I would do that again in a heartbeat. I felt like that was really fun. I, I loved it. It was a lot of traveling. Um, there was a lot of shows, and it was just it was good times. So, yeah, there you go. Might change my answer tomorrow, but for now, that's what I'm going with. So, yeah. Hope you have a, a great holiday season, everything, all the best to you, and uh, we'll see you at the show soon. Take care.